Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Pamela's Crochet and Knit Corner. I am Pam and I am a crocheter who knits a bit. I live in what is still sunny Southern California, even though it's supposed to be fall, in the Inland Empire with my family. Welcome to all of my new subscribers and welcome back to my regular subscribers. Excuse me, I just had an awful coughing fit <clears throat> this is take two <laughs> because I don't edit and on this channel we totally kick it old school style so you might want to grab your pen and pad and take some notes I do live live see <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in there I do leave links in the description box when I can <laughs> okay so always check the, the description box <clears throat> excuse me and be sure to take some notes. Okay, this is episode 106, and um, it's still daylight outside, and that's because I had today off, and I'm going to run some errands, and I thought, oh, let me get a podcast up. It's been a minute or two. I did do a couple of shorts and did post some things on my community page. So, episode 106 here we go it's November happy November and normally around in the Inland Empire from October through December there are quite a few um, events that um, take place last weekend was the um, at the um, hands-on knitting center they had the um, artisan fair I did not get a chance to go there because I spent time with family celebrating birthdays. Um, lots of different things happen um, during the course of fall season leading up to Christmas time. The next big thing that's going to happen here in the Inland Empire is the SoCal Fiber Fair. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> The SoCal Fiber Fair is November, I have notes over here, that's why I'm looking, November 23rd and 24th. I will be there November 23rd. I am so looking forward to this. Last year was spectacular. Um, it's held at the fairgrounds. There was plenty of parking, plenty of space. The vendors were all set up nicely. They didn't miss a beat. They had everything there. So I'm looking forward to that. And... What I'm going to talk about in this episode is the event that's coming up. Um, we have the Seasonal Yarn to YouTube Pop that's due in December. I have a couple of whips I want to show you, including the one that is for the Fiber Fair. Last year, she did a hat pattern, and this year, she did another hat pattern. <clears throat> um, hang on just a moment. Okay, the she that I was referring to a few moments ago is none other than Nancy Bates. Um, she is a designer, she's an author, and she designs all of the hats for the um, SoCal Fiber Fair. She's also one of the curators of it um, who got it started last year. So I will share with you my hat. Um, it is still in whip form because I had to put it down. Um, honestly, this time there was a lot of color changing going on and I messed up and I tinked back. Uh, tinking is um, knitting spelled backwards and instead of frogging, which is what you do when you crochet, when you knit, you tink back <clears throat> because you literally have to go back and unloop every single stitch. So I did that, I put it down, and now I've got to pick it back up because I'm at the decrease section and I need to finish it um, because the 23rd will be here before you know it. Um, this is my color palette. And this yarn was a new to me yarn 
that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's a yarn thing, you know, that's the title of this episode. And for all of us knitters and crocheters and crafters that use yarn, it's all about the yarn, really and truly it is. That's what you start with to curate your project. So because we needed five colors, I didn't have anything in my stash. And I may have talked about this on a previous episode. <clears throat> so I went to Hobby Lobby and I found this beautiful yarn. This is my color palette here. Which I like, I think is really nice. But this is a new to me yarn. It's by Yarn B. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's low pill fiber. Um, that's something now that I'm really, most hand dyed yarn does not come in low pill fiber form. Uh, if it does, let me know because I, I'm not aware of that. But when I, if I'm going to make something that is a wearable and that is going to be washed, you know, I don't want to have to spend time picking piblets off of it or using the yarn shaver, sweater shaver. Um, but I mean, I know eventually you have to, but the low pill fiber um, is really good for that. So this is Pearl Spun. It's a low pill fiber and it is by Yarn Bee. And it is soft. It's not splitty. And this was totally I was looking, 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 and I came upon this, and I thought, wow, this feels great. Low pill fiber sold, and I just picked out the colors that they had. At the time that I went, there weren't a lot of choices there, but um, this was good enough for what I was looking for. It's almost like a celery type green. It's called Matcha Mondays. I love that name. So I think I have um, shown you guys this before, but I'm I am at the almost at the finish line. I am decreasing, and this is what I am talking about. This particular hat for this fair is called Moving Right Along. My ends on the inside are hanging out. But this is it. A lot of color work, a uh, fair aisle, a lot of color changes, quick color changes. So that was kind of, I don't know. To me, it was <clears throat> a little frustrating not to say anything is wrong with the pattern because it's not. It's a chart, there's nothing wrong with it, it was just me. And when your color changing quickly like that, your yarn gets tangled, so you have to, I do, I have to stop at a certain point and untangle my yarn and then keep going. But I'm almost finished, so I am going to, I don't wear beanies even though I love, love, love to make them. I don't wear them often unless I go to the mountains, but um, I do take it with me. I took my last one with me, so I'm going to take this one with me, and um, it's going to finish up nicely. So I wanted to share that with, oh, let me show you guys. <laughs> well, it this, look at all of these floats. There's a ton of floats in here. And then, um, let's see if I can do, yeah. There's a lot of float action going on there. And I'm pretty proud of that because you, if you draw these too tight, you will not be able to get that hat on your head. I have another whip over here. Let me grab that because it's out of reach. Got it. I love project bags. If you don't know that about me, um, love project bags. So I am blessed to have several and 
This one is by Rel of the Dabbling Hook. Look at that, so pretty. I think this is jean material on here too. Box bottom. And inside I keep my project in a plastic bag so that the remnants of the yarn don't remain in this bag and it's all ready and set for the new project. But look how sunny inside that is. Super cool. And then here is a stitch marker hanging on the zipper. I think I'd put that on there. But inside of here, now we all know the holidays are coming up and um, I decided to, um, I need a couple of beanies, Christmas themed. So I went back to um, one of the patterns that I really like and you guys all know Ross of Smells Like Yarn. All of his patterns are free on his website. And I've made this hat before. It's called the Starting Grid Hat. It's knit and, sorry for the crinkling, the bag goes inside of my project bag. So, and one of, um, it's a yarn thing, you know? One of the yarns that I do like that I think they discontinued and turned it into something else. Uh, the Craft Smart Yarn at Michaels. Now, I'm not a yarn snob. I love big box yarn. I love acrylic yarn. I also like my hand dyed yarn too. So it's a yarn thing. This is the old Craft Smart yarn from Michaels. I love this stuff. Um, it is a hardy four weight yarn. You know how sometimes you get a yarn and it says it's four weight on there and you're thinking, no, this is more like a DK or something or other. But this is a true four weight yarn and this was in my stash. Um, I don't know if they have it anymore. It's called Ivy and Cranberries. I love that name. And this is a beautiful, beautiful Christmas colorway or holiday colorway. It's a very pretty holiday colorway. So I thought I would use this and I like to make beanies that have texture on them. So the starting grid hat by Ross of Smells Like Yarn has just that. This is texture on texture. And it is so pretty. It's so pretty. So I love how that, it, I'm not doing anything except just letting the yarn do its thing. So I like how that is knitting up, almost like in pattern. So, um, and I am on, I think these are Haya Haya Sharps because that way the yarn just kind of glides back and forth on the needles and it's not sticking. So, those of you that are knitters out there, because I have knitters and crocheters, um, if you want free patterns, go to um, Ross's website, Smells Like Yarn, and all of his patterns are listed there for free. This is the Starting Grid Hat by Ross. So I am going to finish this and I will probably make a couple more because um, it's great for um, gift giving, if you have a basket that you need to make, if you have a yarn exchange, not a yarn exchange, a gift exchange at work or anything along those lines, really nice for gifts. My other whip, and this is the last whip I'm gonna share with you and then we'll get into um, yarny goodness. Alt Knots, I love her channel. Um, I happen to be looking for some fingerless gloves. And I save a lot. I have categories on my Kindle where I save. Um, it's broken up into categories. Uh, knit, crochet, shawls, uh, fingerless gloves, amigurumis, things like that. So I was scrolling through and then um, if you just, if you type in crochet, this is crochet, fingerless gloves, alt knots comes up. And I like her channel as well. These were, I wanted something simple 
and just to the point. And that's what these are. These are fingerless gloves. She calls them fingerless mitts. And see, I write down everything on an index card, my notes. This video was from 2020 by Alt Knots, and all the notes that I need are on this index card. So I'm always sure to keep that. Same thing with the starting grid hat. I've made this hat several times, so I have all of the, the notes on here back in front. So I just go to where I keep everything filed and I grab my card and it goes inside of my bag with everything. So that way I know where I'm at and what I'm doing. So back to the fingerless glove, I digressed. <clears throat> Super cute. Simple. And this is in the yarn. That's not fuzz. Love that. Just simple. Now, you're asking, where's the other one? <laughs> I haven't made it. <laughs> That's my problem with things that require two. Just like socks. I still have not made a pair of socks. Neither crochet nor knit. Because when I start one, I'm like, oh, I know I'm not going to make the other one. And I don't. So I just frog the yarn, I put it back, and I'm good. But in this case, I am going to make the other one. Um, these are very warm. Your fingers are free. Your thumb is free. Normally, I like the ones with the gusset here, but that was okay because I wear a thumb ring here, so I didn't want that to interfere. But I really like these. Um, I will leave the link below for you. The yarn that I used is another important thing because again, this is Yarn B. This is called Soft and Sleek and it's low pill fiber. I definitely wanted a low pill fiber for these because you're always, you know, scrunching around. You're going to wash these often. So super cute, very simple. Her video is great to follow. And these make awesome gifts also too, because nowadays you need your fingers free to text on your phone and things like that. Um, yeah, so I will leave the link to this Alt Knot Fingerless Mitts. Be right back. I'm back. Okay, like I said, it's a yarn thing. I'm not a yarn snob. I like big box yarn, acrylic yarn. I have my hand dyed yarn stash, but here's something. Don't sleep on purchasing someone else's stash. It's so good to have yarny friends and we're always talking, sharing ideas, um, just communicating and bonding. And when someone says, you know, hey, I have a yarn that I can't use because I'm allergic to it. I was like, what? It's Malabrigo, did you say? Oh, okay. Well, what, what do you have? I'll take that. Malabrigo madness, I love it. So I acquired the stash from Vicky of Gotcha Hook. Thank you. And um, I love Malabrigo. It is a true four weight hand dyed yarn. It is very affordable and the colors are magnificent. The only tip I would give you um, is Stay true to whatever it is that you're making. My first experience with it, um, I was making a poncho, um, Yolanda Soto Lopez. And so I thought, okay, well, I'm going to make it longer, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. Malabrigo grows, okay? When you uh, block it, it grows. So I had to pull back on that. Uh, that was crochet at the time, so that was a, just a frog thing. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, 
Malabrigo is it for me. I love, love, love it. This is Malabrigo Rios um, in the colorway Diana. And you can pretty much get this um, at your local yarn shop. Um, it is, it's fantastic yarn. Um, I'm not sure what this colorway is because it's not inside of here, but that's okay. I love this because this is in my wheelhouse. Look at all those jewel tones. Love, love, love it. Love it. And here is another one. I'm not sure what this one is either, but I've, I had this one before. Look at that Malabrigo goodness. So it's always cool to purchase a yarn stash. Um, you can save yourself some time. You can save yourself some money. Um, I've acquired a couple of um, some things from people that want to get rid of the yarn. So that's a way to go. And it's also a way for you to check out some things that a new to you yarn or something that you might have never tried before also too. So Malabrigo. Staying with the hand dyed yarn. Ah. Look at this, you guys. Fiber Genie. This yarn is the um, Tiny Batch Limited Edition. It is the Oogie Boogie Birthday Bash yarn uh, for Z, Zelda NRJ3. And you had an option. You could get the purple, or I think the, the uh, mini was a fire red color. So I chose purple. I also chose DK weight yarn. This is another um, weight of yarn that I really, really like. Um, if you want something to be drapey um, after you block it or wash it or steam it or whatever you do to it, DK usually falls in that category. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Yes, this is Z's Oogie Boogie Dance Party yarn. It was in celebration of her birthday that just passed um, in October. And this is beautiful. It's 100% fine superwash merino wool. And it is DK weight. And look at this mini. Look how beautiful that is. Look at all of those colors. Really beautiful. So I think I'll probably make a, a beanie with this. The last birthday yarn, I made a beanie with that also too. Now, when you order something like this from Fiber Genie, oh my God, you get a bag of goodies that is just out of this world. And there are quite a few goodies missing in here. <laughs> because my husband, but yes, you get quite a few goodies. And here is this fun little stitch marker that goes with your order. So this was nice and I really like the colorway and I'm excited to get started with that. Staying in the hand dyed yarn section, this is my bag from last year's SoCal Fiber Fair. And it was, it, it, it was great. Um, they had a sale table that I happened upon. Um, this is a Katarina. Now you're probably thinking, what is that? It's almost like a Look at that. Um, this is used in conjunction with yarn to have like a stranded um, jewel effect in a beanie. Um, really pretty, but 
I am using this, I have to do something for Christmas. So I'm using this for that. So if you come across this, Ekaterina, now this is the section where I'm not going to put anything in the description box about it because I got all of this at a fiber festival. So yeah, I'll just give you the names of the yarn. You can either um, Google it or see where you can find it if you're interested in doing so. Um, but this is Ekaterina, it's E-K-A-T-E-R-I-N-A. -E and it's really pretty. I mean, you can make Christmas ornaments out of this, definitely you can make Christmas ornaments out of this. And I bought this in several different colors. So I do have a plan for it, but I can't say so. But I will share it with you guys after everything is, is over. So in here, oh my goodness. I don't know if I've shared this with you guys before. I don't think so. Um, here we go. Madeline Tosh, otherwise known as MT or Mad Tosh. This is Tosh DK. Look at that. The colorway is called Saffron. Very fall. This colorway is called Early Time. T-H-Y-M-E. And this is Natural Colors. It's 100% organic merino wool, hand dyed with all natural dyes. This is a, my camera's not doing it justice. This is a beautiful uh, soft green. Um, I, I can't describe it any other way. And you can see where it's a lighter green and then it blends into being a little bit darker, but it's very pretty. This is by Yarn Collectives. Bloomsbury DK. Look at that. That is so pretty. Very neutral color. Could pretty much go with anything. And the color is sand. Down in my goodie bag. Ooh, I love jewel tones. This is Mad Tosh. This is DK Weight. I know that for sure. And this is called Jade. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is so pretty. Look. Fall, 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 winter, whenever you want. Love those. I went neutral again with this because I always wanted some sweet Georgia yarn. This is Superwash DK, and this color is simply called linen. And I always wanted, that's one thing about going to fiber festivals. If you always wanted someone's yarn, um, usually they're there with their, in their booth, and you can just pick it up and squish it and take it home and be happy that you got it and you don't have to pay for shipping. <laughs> So this is Sweet Georgia. This was another one. Seismic Yarn. I loved the name of this. We Will Rock You from the Let's Get Stoned collection. <laughs> I love this. I absolutely love it. This is Seismic Butter Sock DK. And it is super soft. I love the color explosion in there. Very pretty. And I love the name. The name is priceless. And that was my acquisitions from that from last year. And you're like, really, Pamela? So I will eventually do something with it. Um, but I'm just, this is when you go to the and this was on a sale table. Oh. Ah. Ah. Give me. Yeah. It's a yarn thing. I do realize that not everyone can attend a fiber festival. Um, not everyone has one in their area. Not everyone is able to do that. Um, so I, like I said, I am not a yarn snob. 
So the big box stores are Awesome, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's. Um, I happened to go to Hobby Lobby a couple of weeks ago. I try to go there when they have their 30% off sale. And again, the Yarny community, they'll let you know. They will post they're having their 30% off sale. And I happen to have one right by my job. So lunchtime fiber, yes. Um, I do go there. And again, I was looking for the low pill fiber yarn. So I just kind of, oh boy. I stocked up on... This is a beautiful heather color. Soft and sleek, low pill fiber. I can't say enough about it. This looks like it's black, but it's not. This is called heather. And it is a beautiful charcoal gray color. It, it, you can, if you saw this in person, you could see the gray in there. Maybe you can. But I love this. So I bought several of these because, um, again, I was, uh, I probably still am going to make beanies for gifts. Um, at one time, I thought I was going to make a shawl with it, but this is dark and I usually work on it in the daylight. I do have a neck light. So, but it is, it's nice. I've made beanies with this before. They wash up beautifully. Wash, put them in the dryer done deal or if you don't want to use the dryer you can um, lay them out to dry um, they have the instructions on here for you because this is a hundred percent acrylic low pill fiber and it i don't want to take the time to keep rolling this around but either you you can wash it machine wash i usually like to lay them out to dry or i'll put them in the dryer just for a pinch and then lay them out to finish drying. Another cool color that I got from Hobby Lobby, again, Yarn Bee, soft and sleek, low pill fiber, was this cool color. I love that. The name of it is called Oatmeal, and it has these dark brown speckles on it. So this would make a cute hat also too. It's a yarn thing. And then I went for this print. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now this is the regular I Love This Yarn, which is one of my favorites. Um, they are also two besides the Yarn Be Soft and Sleek. Uh, this colorway is called Smoky Water. And look at that. You have your blacks, your grays, your lighter grays, streaks of white. That is super pretty. And I got a couple of those because again, you can make a hat and a cowl or a hat and a small scarf. Yes, you can. So it's a yarn thing and everyone has their favorites. Um, me, I'm sensitive on my fingertips, so it has to feel good on my fingers. It could be the best yarn ever. If it doesn't feel good on my fingers, I am not working with it. So that's all I had to share regarding that. Um, the Seasonal Yarny YouTube Pop is coming up winter edition. I think that's sometime in December. And other than that, uh, I am looking forward to the SoCal Fiber Fest in a couple of weeks. I have to finish up my hat and get some other things done because I do have some festivities coming up prior to that. So thank you guys so much for joining me, um, for subscribing. If you're new, thank you. If you're uh, my regular subscriber, thank you. I appreciate everyone, and I don't take any of this for granted. So with that being said, I hope everyone has a beautiful rest of their day and be kind. It only takes a second to smile. Okay? I will see you next time in the YouTube streets. Bye for now.